What's up? You're watching Back and Brothers, and for some reason we have mustaches. That's because we're at the largest camel gathering in the world, the Pushkar Camel Fair in Rajasthan, India. Chalo! Let's go! of the Pushkar Camel Festival. This is one of the largest camel gatherings in the entire world, and it's also a holy Hindu pilgrimage site all mashed up into one. It's gonna be wild, it's gonna be chaotic. Let's go. Well, I'm stoked to be back at the Pushkar Camel Festival. I was here nine years ago, shortly after graduating college, after traveling through India for a month. And uh, this time we're coming back with a different mission. Before I was just chilling, having fun, relaxing, and now we're here to make a VR film. So we're gonna be making a 360 video of this entire experience. But first things first, we need to get into character. There are tons of nomads who've come throughout the whole desert. Uh, it's a tribe called the Raika who are nomads. They were originally the caretakers of the Maharaja's camels and have lived for centuries in kind of a pastoral nomad uh, tradition. Uh, they all gather here once a year around the full moon, which is a holy day. It's a holy pilgrimage site. So basically, everyone behind us is buying and selling camels for the first week and then paying homage to Pushkar Lake, which is a uh, holy temple for Rama. So first things first, we got to get dressed like, uh, like the locals. So I know I've loved this beard for a long time, but it's time for a change. I'm going full Rajasthani. Like, like Maharaja. Maharaja. Like mustache is Maharaja. Yeah. Also cello. Don? Yes. Okay, just mustache. Yes. Just mustache is okay. You are like in paradise right now, huh? As he reclines into the seat, you look you look so happy right there. Is this good? Are you excited? Uh I it's gonna be a bittersweet moment. Yes. Okay, just mustache. Yes. Just mustache is okay. Uh, stand, stand. okay. Alright, well the transformation is complete. I first rocked a mustache nine years ago when I came to India and all the locals were telling me that to get a mustache like a Rajasthani you just had to pull on the ends. So I started doing it and that's kind of how my mustache grew for anyone else who's wondering. But as I am rediscovering what it feels like to have a chin, Alex's transformation is continuing behind me. So Alex, how are you feeling? Not excited, dude. <laughs> Extra! Oh my god, your style, bro, looks so funny. You seriously look like a New Zealand army officer from World War One. I. I can't see right now because my face is getting the most intense rub down of all time. Oh. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> So while the men are busy buying and selling camels on the outskirts of the city, the women come in to the center of town 
to the marketplace, where they're basically buying local textiles, super colorful, beautiful textiles, and selling camel products to help support the family. This is important because in recent years, the nomadic pastoral lifestyle that they've enjoyed for hundreds of years has become harder. National parks and private lands are encroaching on their grazing grounds, so they need to find ways to supplement the income, and uh, one of the ways they do it is this. They've also started selling female camels here at Pushkar, which they never did before because they're necessary to keep the herd numbers high. So it's not a good sign, but hopefully they find a way to keep this lifestyle continuing in the future. Right now we are actually in the outskirts of the fair, but this is where everybody's camped out. This is where they bring all their animals and it's kind of like a livestock show. People are inspecting horses. They have a special type of horse here called Marwari and um, those were like warrior horses for the Maharajas back in the day. is a giant carnival and that little girl back there has the best sense of balance I've ever seen. is a holy city for Hindus. It's one of the top five holy pilgrimage sites in all of India. And on these weeks, pilgrims come from across India to bathe in the holy lake of Pushkar. So basically the reason they're bathing in this lake is because it's believed that it's gonna wash away all of their sins. Um, so like Mark said, people come from all over Rajasthan, all over India to come here during this special week and to basically cleanse themselves of all the bad deeds in the past. So we're gonna go down to the Ghats and show you more about that when we get there. So we were just in the middle of a uh, VR shot and we were joined by a friendly local. So out behind us is the lake at Pushkar. This is what all of the event centers around. The lake is considered holy to Hindus, and in Hindu mythology, the creator of the universe, Brahma, had a battle with a demon in which he killed the demon, and three lotus petals fell down from his sword, and from those lotus petals sprouted this lake. So it's believed that bathing in the lake will wash away all of your sins because during the festival, all the gods come here. So they, they bless the devotees. And that's why you're seeing pilgrims coming from all over India. It's all about bathing in the lake. And so behind us is a ghat. A ghat is an Indian, basically like, an, like a, a step down to the water. And it's where people bathe uh, both for cleaning themselves, like in rivers and doing laundry. But in this case, it has a holy significance. We're not supposed to get much closer than we are because we're respecting people's privacy. You're not supposed to film people while they're bathing. But behind us is where all the action's happening. They also light candles, put them out on the lake, and it's just generally an amazingly spiritual scene. Ah, 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 ah,
Good morning. Welcome back. It's day two at Push Car. It's just as hot, if not maybe a little bit hotter today, but uh, there's still plenty to explore. We're going to be heading in kind of closer to the lake today. We're going to be trying tons of food. There's a lot of stuff going to happen. Yeah, so today it's the Saturday of the festival. Tomorrow's the last day. A lot of the camel trading is wrapped up, and some of the camel herders have left town. But the holy ceremony starts now. Tomorrow will be the culmination of the religious event on the full moon. So we're just really soaking this all up. It's a lot to take in, so let's go explore. India is that all of the honking it's actually like a form of echolocation and sonar basically by honking you're letting people know that you're coming so they don't walk out in the middle of the street and get hit by you We are at the closing ceremonies, there are musicians, there are camel racers, there are people going to be carrying pots of water on their head, and we're going to try to capture it in VR right now, so there are thousands of people in the stadium, it's the most packed between all week, and we're going to finish this amazing festival with a bang. So it's been a wild couple of days. When we showed up, a lot of the major competitions had already finished. The longest mustache competition, the camel beauty contest. But our good luck is that everything is kind of coming together here. You got the best mustaches, the most beautiful camels. Oh, there they are. Hold up, we gotta go. Look. We gotta go take a look at the mustaches. That is a mustache. Your, your name? Open. How much time? 15 years. 15 years. How long? Two meters. Two meter. Are you the winner this year? No. Who's the winner? Winner is Nago. Oh wow. But very good. I'm not a big mustache person. I was forced into making this mustache for Movember, but these guys live Movember every month. To be completely honest, 
just this entire festival has just been chaotic and insane. There's so many crazy things unfolding around you at all times. But today, it's the culmination of the entire event. It's the closing ceremonies. There's going to be camel races. There's going to be strength competitions. We got the longest mustaches potentially in the world here. And we have plenty of camels who seem to be relatively friendly. But then again, you never really want to trust a camel because I don't know what he's going to do to me right now. Oh, he's nice. music here is super typical of Rajasthan and little known fact but gypsies or Roma people from Europe supposedly originated from northwestern India a couple hundred years ago so you can see the roots the resemblance it's kind of crazy and it's really awesome Pushkar Camel Festival. Insane experience. Definitely one for your bucket list. If you enjoyed it as much as we did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already, and if you have not seen the VR film we made from Pushkar or the ones we made from Rajasthan, Machu Picchu, and Venice Beach, California, make sure you check those out. We'll put links down below in the info box. There's also a full series from Rajasthan. In the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see you on the road. Peace. Namaste. Thank you.